The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We've got lots of things happening today. We have the German parliament has been sent home. They don't have to come back until they figure out what to do. Wish we could do that here. Also, pepperoni and mozzarella in Italy have had some problems, and they're trying to work that out. And on top of that, China has called, yelled uncle and said, we are not going to cause any more problems. And if you can believe all of that, we still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge for you today. So here's what we want to... Um, uh, okay. All right. Not not a problem, David. I can care. I can take care of it, my friend. Not a problem. <laughs> Hold on. Let's move on again here. Uh, let's take a look at this FTSE chart. Now, this is the one that's uh, was affected here because of the parliamentary thing. You notice that we made a bottom here on the 27th, so we've been making higher bottoms here, and we are moving uh, a lot higher. We're seeing the same thing in the German DAX, uh, even though they have said that yeah, we're very very near. Uh, uh, recession and what is the market doing? If you'll take a quick look at it here, we got Normy Norman Winsky will be our guest today, folks. Look at this um, four-hour DAX chart, folks. It's really good because it has something in there that we look at a lot, and that is the head and shoulders pattern. You know, the left shoulder there on August the sixth. The head came in on the 15th, which was the lunar aspect. That was the new moon. And uh, now you can see where we are now. We're heading up into this area of uh, we're probably going to get there within the next day or two at uh, 20, 12,100 is what it looks like, at least uh, from that. So, say, uh, I, hold on. I'm trying to do too many things at once here. <laughs> okay. Let's move on here and uh, talk about a couple of things. What's going on with Brexit? Let me try to explain. I got this from my good friend, John Jameson. Uh, this is one of the reasons why there's so much going on over there. Uh, the, the, uh, you'll see that the uh, commons, whatever this stuff is. Remember, folks, this is a constitutional monarchy. In other words, the queen runs the whole deal. Now, over here, we have a constitutional republic, so they can't send the dudes home. That's basically what it is. The, the key date is going to be uh, October 14th to 17th, and then the final date, is October the 30th. That's going to be really, really interesting, you know, to uh, to met out. I wish I had gum, Bruce. <laughs> I'm just trying to do too many things uh, as I'm trying to get this thing. Um, uh, no, we out. Yes, we have uh, our guest today. Will be um, Norm Winsky. He will be our guest today, uh, and um, we'll uh, see what happens. Uh, I'm going to. I will be here tomorrow. I originally planned to uh, take a four-day weekend, but I'm going to be here tomorrow. Ruby. Uh, God bless you on the sugar, folks. I had three or four people say, please give Ruby our best regards because she had the absolute low on that sugar yesterday. It's rallied well over $600. Congrats on that, Ruby. We appreciate your work. Uh, and so keep up the good work, dear. We're always happy to see. Even we're happy to even see the, the bad trades because we learn, we learn from them. Here is something that someone asked me to send out last night because I had sent a video right after the markets closed last night on silver. I was using uh, the, the uh, four-minute chart basically showing the retracement levels because we came down and we made that ABCD right when we were on the air yesterday. You'll see there at 9.30 in the morning, that was making it down there at 18.15. And right after that, they said, where do we think we're going to go from there? And I said, we'll probably go up to the 18.60 level. And that's exactly where we went to. And we haven't taken that out as of yet. We still might today, but that's basically what we were watching here because you were still in a very strong uptrend. You can see the pullback was exactly uh, 36 cents, which was the the, uh, the fib number or the harmonic number, right at the 78 percent level, A B C D, and then away it went to the upside. So that's it. Now I have a special request. 
from someone uh, that asked, sent a letter and asking me to talk about the ABCD pattern. Folks, the ABCD pattern was on page 249 in Gartley's book. Uh, it's basically parallel channels. You have AB equals CD up, AB equals CD down. Those patterns are perfect. In other words, AB is equal to CD in both price and time about 40% of the time. The other 60% of the time, the relationship of B and C will be different. And the reason why, it's the point C. If the market makes an AB leg and then pulls back to point C and then explodes out of that area, in other words, really takes off, much like you did in that silver just now or yesterday, that's telling you it's going to exceed the AB leg. And the reason for that is it's the thrust coming out of there. The thrust will be noted by bars that are two or three, two or three times normal. That's one thing. And the second thing is, is if there's a gap there, like a news announcement or a report or some kind, and that'll tell you that that's the way to go. Now, the, the extensions, the CD leg extensions can either be 1.27 or 1.618. Beyond 1.618, you're in no man's land because it can go wherever it wants to go. So that's why that 1.618 number is so important. If you'll practice with the ABCD patterns, you'll be uh, gra uh, graciously rewarded, believe me, because they're they're really, uh, really quite good uh, doing that. But it's, remember, it's only a percentage of 40% when they're absolutely perfect. In other words, AB equals CD and the slope of the line, the time down, the number of bars, AB equal the number of bars in the CD. The 61 or 78 percent ratios are there. Everything is perfect like that, only 40 percent of the time. The other 60 percent, there'll be some slight variations. And if you follow a market closely, like we do here, uh, you'll you'll see some of these variations. You won't catch them all. Nobody can catch them all. But uh, those are the ones that you'll uh, that you would like to be looking at. Just to give you an example, if you remember. Yesterday we were talking about the uh, the British pound, and uh, we remember the British pound. We we said that it was going to have some really strong support down there at the 2160 level, and that's exactly what happened. There again, you can see here uh, during this time that we when we made that level, we were making a 78% retracement of the 22nd of August low, a 20% off the 20th. We were exactly 61% retracement, and we were exactly 50% off of the August 11th low. We had three major ratios coming in right at that line, and that was equal to the move that we had back in early August. So when you add those harmonic things together, that's the ones that give you a pretty good idea of uh, what we're looking at. Someone's asked a question about the platinum. Folks, the platinum has been extremely bullish. Let's get this up here so that we can... Uh, we can take a quick look at it here, and uh, because we have exceeded the upper end of this, we've made a three drive to a top pattern. Hold on one second. I have not updated as of yet, but uh, up there at the, we got to 920, uh, I think we got to 930. So we did make a new high on the platinum. The ABCD structure of that move measured to, you'll never guess, 930. So that should be it in the platinum. That should be the top in the platinum. Now, it's a wild day today, and we're having a lot of things going on, so you got to pay very, very close attention, as we always do. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading 
trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we have an old friend on the line. Brent, how are you? Doing well, Larry. How are you today? I am very good. How's everything up there in California? It's going well. Good, good. It's weather, good to hear. Man's back to work teaching. Everything's going mm -hmm. good. Good. What can I help you with, my friend? I posted a chart of the UNG. I, is that United Natural Gas or something like that? Or I just want you to look or... at natural gas itself would be yes, appreciated. Yeah, I, like, and just... I like natural gas. I have. Uh, we're very bullish natural gas. When it got down to that uh, 210 level per cubic feet, it was a beautiful Gartley pattern. Uh, we're now you know, up around a 225 and something. Anytime we get a pullback here, I, what I'd like to see now is another ABCD down, Brent. That would give me a confirmation of a higher bottom, and then uh, it could really be uh, really ready to go. But natural gas is going higher it's already it already says it wants to go higher the question is where do you buy some more okay yeah i'm just i'm playing it a little different way that i'm, I'm trying to do some mm -hmm. stocks that are going to benefit from oh for that price going up so that's okay. i'm not doing the actual contract Okay, that's good. That, there's nothing wrong with that. That's in fact it follows the natural gas uh, almost perfectly, and the ABCD structure on this. So it's trading at 1935. It looks like it wants to go up to at least 2150. So that's a, you know, about a nine or ten percent run. So that that's pretty good if it, if it does it. And you, you know, if it gets below 1850, you're probably wrong. So I, I like that play. It does look really good. It's uh, it outlines the risk. And the good thing is when you're looking at this, you can see all the ratios that are there 2.618127618382 percent anybody that thinks these that this doesn't run on Fibonacci numbers uh, better drink a different brand of tea because this it really does hit the numbers pretty nicely well I appreciate your help Larry just hey listen I appreciate it. come down and come down and visit you. me when you get a chance okay I'll do that you take care okay all right thanks a lot have, have a great day all right you bet all right, bye oh
Okay, folks, let's move on here. Uh, we've got Norm coming up here in about 10 minutes. I wanted to cover something that I think is relatively important, and that is uh, in the newsletter last week, you know, we were talking about the importance of that uh, 38 days from the high of the July 15th to the um, high that we made back on the uh, 26th, uh, but actually the 25th. That was a, let's see, that would be that was the 24th, uh, and the the actual date was the 26th. Where we are now, folks, we're still in this tight trading range. As long as the Dow doesn't trade above 26,600, uh, this pattern still looks correct to me. The numbers that we were looking at, if you remember last week, the numbers in the S&P were at uh, 26. Uh, uh, not, excuse me, 2916 on the S&P, and it was 78, uh, 7685 on the uh, NASDAQ. And our short positions, of course, were put on at 2936 on the 24th, 23rd. And, uh, you know, we still think it's going to go down. We, we, we covered some of that, of course, on the, on the big day up. Uh, on Monday, we got out of that at uh, 28 um, uh, 65. But the thing that you want to keep in mind, folks, is that the, the news that's coming out is it it is really it really helps the market's volatility is what it really does. I mean, it's it's really amazing how the news how they bring it out and everything. It, it's just it's totally amazing. And you think if these people don't play the news on this, you're 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 very sadly mistaken. The good part is that it still follows the number extremely well and that's the that's the bottom line of what we're looking at let's take a quick look at this uh, British pound here folks for two reasons we want to do we posted the little one uh, earlier I just wanted to get this up to you right now this is where we were last Friday 2284 today we're trading at 2222 I believe something like that with extremely bad news that the announcers for the people on Bloomberg and also CNB this morning would say there was going to be a collapse in the British pound because of the uh, the move uh, that occurred and and folks that that is not what happened look look at the, this is in the midst of all this I did this this morning while that was going on with all that garbage garbage going on it could not even make a 78 percent retracement down there at 2170 before finally uh, reversing so um, you know this is an uptrend L look at it folks the 11th of august the 20th of august and where we are now this market's in an uptrend it doesn't make any difference what the news is it wants to go higher now if it turns around and, and collapses from here sure but with the news as bad as it is <laughs> it ain't going down i mean you know that's the bottom line look look what they've tried to feed us in the hog market in the corn market this recently i mean you know if you if you fall for that that stuff that they put on the news the fundamental stuff you're you're going to be uh, you know you have a hard time explaining it and believe me that hey i went through this stuff before so <laughs> i i i can't explain a lot of things but i can explain one thing if prices are going up there's more buyers if prices are going down there's more sellers that's the bottom line believe it or not with all this move in silver we're not seeing a big increase in open interest you'd think that there would be given the fact that it's uh, left a gap on the weekly chart which is uh, highly unusual, but we're going to find out more about that probably by uh, early next week. But we're expecting some wild things. Remember, we have a holiday on Monday. That's Labor Day. And uh, we want to watch that uh, very, very closely. I will be in the United Kingdom from uh, during the, the, the second week in uh, September. I'm going to be doing a seminar there on the uh, 15th and 14th and 15th of the month with Tom Hugard and Dr. David Paul. Always have a lot of fun. We've got a really good crowd, and it'll be really uh, be able to see it. You're right, Marshall. There is a decline in that open interest in silver. That is short covering, folks. That's not new buying. And let me explain that one more time because people did ask me about it. The Chicago Mercantile Exchange is based on a buyers and sellers. It's a contract. It's an actually written contract. They don't show you the contract, but it actually is written. For every buyer, there has to be a seller. Now, if prices go up, all right, and open interest drops, that means that shorts are covering, all right? There's no new buying coming in, so shorts are covering. Once that's over, 
there's going to be a vacuum under the market, and you're going to see probably a dollar, dollar and a half drop in silver on any particular day. Now, if you want the exact time of that's going to happen, send me your $250 in cash. I'm trying to be a little uh, jovial here this morning. No one knows when that's going to happen, but it most probably will because markets that go straight up have a <laughs> – thanks, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy's sending a check. We don't take checks. Anyway. Uh, the markets that go straight up come straight down. I mean, show me one that doesn't do that with the exception of uh, Treasury bonds, and it will happen someday with that, too. Okay, let's uh, let's move on. We got Norm. Oh, my goodness. We got Storm and Mr. Norman's coming on in a few minutes to giving us uh, some really good ideas. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to have Arch Crawford as my guest tomorrow. Uh, we're going to do my best to get him on. And then on Monday, I want everybody to take a holiday. And uh, Tuesday, we'll be uh, back at him once again. So let's take a quick look here at what the markets are doing here this morning. Still pretty strong, I would think. Yep, we got to be... We got to be a little bit stronger here in the morning on the opening, and then we'll see uh, what happens here uh, very, very closely. The pound's still trading at 2193. It hasn't given up the ghost yet. We got to watch the euro, folks. It's got a chance. Uh, it's heading down. Uh, this might be a big thing for the U.S. dollar. We'll be right back with Norm Winsky. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Norm Winsky from Astro Trend. Norm, are you there? Yes, sir. Oh, boy. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Good morning. Yeah. Tell that frog I said hello. I use him all the time. Hey, Norm, right. we have a question. We got a super moon, I guess, uh, tomorrow. Is that or the thirtieth? Is that and correct? I'm gonna and I'm going to talk about that. Let's. Why don't we do that? Go ahead. You've got the. You've got the mic. Okay, but that's kind of at the. Uh, you know, we don't want to give away the end of the story right before you. Uh, at the beginning. You do here, whatever. Right? You do whatever you like, my friend. Go right ahead. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, I was on your show last on the eighth. Excuse me, boy. On the, excuse me. Hey, on your show on last on the eighth, and I uh, gave away, gave out many of these points. I sh I recommend the folks screen share, uh, screenshot this. I recommend you do that again, and so you can more easily follow along or go back and uh, watch the video again and uh, the archive and and study what's going on here. You know. Right? So on the 8th, I, AC is after the close. Uh, to be accurate with the event, the planetary event, a lot of things happen overnight. So, But for trading purposes, we're either going to be trading on the close of the 7th or on the opening of the 8th, looking for our, you know, looking for that point. We have Venus perihelion on the uh, night of the 7th, morning of the 8th. And what is that? Venus perihelion. Now, we get to learn a little Greek today. Para means close. Helios in Greek is sun. So that's when the Venus is its 225-day orbit around the Sun is at its closest point. By the way, 225 is 617 of the Earth's 365 and a quarter. Kind of interesting, huh? All right, so major. So we're looking for. Uh, we're going to look at our Venus markets. All these markets have uh, ruling planets, and so uh, there we go. So we're going to look at cattle, copper, corn, cotton, gold. Oh, we're doing gold and OJ because they are. Actually, uh, sun markets, but because it's a helio uh, thing, there we have. We're going to look at those two as possible change of trend points: uh, sugar and wheat. Okay. Then we're going to look at uh, mercury. Has to do with the grains primarily, and all, those stocks respond to everything. So they're in all these categories. We got the uh, corn, oats, soybeans, stocks of wheat for the uh, for the late on the ninth. Uh, or over the weekend of the ninth, we had a big cluster over the weekend of the ninth, and then we have a Helio Mars entering Virgo. That's uh, going to Mars energizes the planet, going to energize Virgo. That's soybeans. Then we had he two huge things happen over that weekend too. We had Jupiter turn direct, and Uranus uh, in Sagittarius. That's oats, and then we also had Uranus in Taurus the bull. Turn to retrograde, and of course, that's if it's taurusable, it's cattle, also copper, and because it's Uranus, cotton, because it's Taurus, and stocks. So we'll be looking at that too, and then we have the full moon on the night of the 14th, morning of the 15th, and the morning of the 15th, we also had one of my other top things is when the plants get to zero latitude, and the Mercury did that the morning of the 15th, and that again. Mercury is your grains. There you go, corn, oats, soybeans, stocks, and wheat. And then we had the night of the 15th, we had Saturn, 90 to the U.S. Saturn. That's a natal chart thing. And that's uh, U.S. stocks, T-bonds. Oh, that should be U.S. dollar. That's a mistake there. Sorry about that. And uh, there we have a Geo Mars enters Virgo. Important change of trend for soybeans. And then we had, uh, that's the night of the 16th. And then we had uh, the night of the 19th or the 20th, uh, Mercury went perihelion, and you know what perihelion is now. So there we go. We'll be looking again at greens. Greens were very prominent during this period. Okay. So here we go. Here's our first chart. I'm going to go in alphabetical order. And there we go. So the cattle had a little bit of a rally into the 8th and the 9th. You see the green arrows there? And you, I'm sure you're aware, Larry, that was a nice top there. Because then on Monday, they gap limit down, uh, lock limit down, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Uranus is the planet of disruption. That Uranus went retrograde in Taurus the bull. And that was an, unex you know, Uranus is the planet of unexpected changes, disruptions, that sort of thing. And I learned a week later, listening on your show, somebody said that some major slaughterhouse in Kansas City shut down. And that was... 5% of the cattle didn't get, uh, weren't going to get processed, and they were standing around with nothing to do, so everybody sold, and it went lock limit down, and then there we go. See that? Yeah. All right. So that worked out pretty well. 
All right, here's your copper. Well, Uranus is the one of the keys to copper and Venus. There's Venus with perihelion right there. That's a nice little top there on the copper. Uh, we went down into the weekend, which was Uranus turning retrograde. There's a nice bottom there. And then we had over here, that was uh, the 16th. That was, oh, yeah, that was the full moon in Aquarius. That's a sign for copper. The zodiac sign for copper is Aquarius, okay? All righty, let's move on to cocoa. We had a couple of, oh, no, not cocoa, corn. Sorry about that corn. Uh, we had a mercury point there on the 8th. That was a nearer top. And then over the weekend, we had uh, mercury point also, something, uh, you know, mercury at E, greatest elongation, another mercury point there, and that was a, a nice top for the corn. And then we went to down to the full moon, and we made a little butt of a bottom there. And then we made a little bit of top on the next mercury point, which is the night of the 19th to the 20th. Okay. Here's your cotton. That's uh, a cousin to the cattle. And so it went up into the 8th with Venus perihelion down into the weekend with Uranus turned retrograde in Taurus and it made a low there. So that worked out pretty well. Uh, the gold wasn't as good. Gold did not cooperate. So that's why we got red arrows there. Those are misses. So we went up. We just went sideways. It kind of stopped the market from going up for a little while. It kind of took the momentum out of it. But uh, the way I rate these is that if you're not, you don't have a chance to make money, uh, then it's not, it's a miss, you know. So that's a red arrow, and there we go. There's another red arrow there for the uh, for the full moon. It went a little bit higher two days later, so that's not good. All right, there's oats. Oats were spectacular. Oats. Uh, I only follow oats because nobody cares, but they follow the stars very well. And here we had two points here for the oats, and that was a low. Uh, on with Jupiter turning uh, direct, and then we came back down for another low here with the, at the full moon, and then we went up here for another uh, oh Mercury point there on the night of the 19th into the 20th, and that was another nice top there for the oats. All right, here's your OJ. Went 50-50 on the OJ, rallied up here into uh, oh our Venus perihelion. It's a sun thing, and you know the OJ is, is a sunshine drink. And so it topped out there, and then it went down. We, uh, we did not work out uh, for the full moon, but that's that's the deal on the OJ. Here's your silver. Silver made a little bit of top here for the full moon and had a little bit of a pullback for about three or four days. Here's uh, beans. Had lots of stuff going on there right around there, right around the, the 9th to the 12th of the week, that weekend on the 9th. And we made a little bit of top there. It did go a little bit higher the next day, but then we went down, and uh, that point there did not stop the market from going down. But we so they got two misses there. But then we hit the uh, the Merc. Let's see, that's the uh, full point. I better pull this up just a tad. There we go. And then we came into our Mercury points here, and uh, that did provide a low, and we got a little bit of a three four day rally there. You know. Mm -hmm. Here's the S&P. We had lots of S&P had lots of stuff going on. We had the uh, yeah, a, stock market basically is the big basket of everything, so it responds to all this planetary stuff. And oh, it's music time. Okay, we'll be right back, Norm. We have to pay a few bills. No problem. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Norm Winsky of AstroTrend. Norm, you want to continue, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. So you see here, I'll get my cursor going here, and we had a nice rally into the 8th Venus perihelion and made a lovely top there, and then we declined into the 12th, which was a Monday, and we had a massive cluster there. I would have, you know, I was wrong, semi-wrong on this. We did get a big one-day rally here. We had lots of opportunity to make some big money. Uh, but then I was I would have guessed that it was that low because it had so many things going there that would have held it and it did not. So it failed and so it came back down. If you had good money management, you had your trend line and so forth, you would have protected yourself and gotten out okay. Then we had the going into the full moon. There was a big cluster right around the full moon there. And you see that was a very nice low there. And then we went up and we had a nice top on the, on the Mercury perihelion, I believe. On the right around, oh, there was, there was a Saturn to the U.S., I think, right around there. And then we had the Mercury perihelion overnight of the 19th into the 20th, and you made a little bit of short term low there. You see that? These were, these points would work fantastically, you know, especially on SP and some of these markets. They don't work all the time, and uh, but a uh, high percentage of the time. Here's sugar. Uh, I guess uh, dedicate this to Ruby. There we had, uh, there's the Venus, is a uh, sugar market. I put it set it backwards. Sugar is a Venus market, and uh, so there you go. We were one day off that nice low there, and then we had a nice rally. You see that? Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Up to uh, T bonds there. T bonds, a big deal there was the full moon, and we had a nice stop there. And I think we also had uh, yeah, it's a full moon there. And then we, I think there was maybe a, a U.S. aspect too, and that influences the bonds too. And that was a top that lasted uh, about a week, you know, or more, you know. That was pretty good. Uh, dollar didn't cooperate. We had a couple points here for the uh, for the uh, looking for the full moon, and those uh, both those points did not work for the dollar. So that's a couple misses there. Here's the wheat was really good. Uh, with, again, the wheat is a Venus market, so we had a. Well, with one day early on the uh, top here on the wheat, uh, on the 8th, and then there's the 9th, and then boom, down into the uh, weekend, that uh, big cluster on the ninth weekend of the 9th, and then we made a low there on Monday the 12th, and then we had a rally into the full moon, and uh, then we went down into the uh, Mercury point there on the night of, end of the 20th, on the night of the 19th for the Mercury period healing, so that worked out very well. All right, let's look ahead now. I know this is what you've been uh, waiting for. Here's what's coming up. Wait, uh, I got, there we go. 
All right, so uh, let's see. T uh, uh, tonight, tomorrow, early tomorrow morning. We, oh, this, that's uh, we're, the moon is next. Okay, I got it. Both of these are happening overnight. On the moon's north node, it will be 90 degrees U.S. Saturn. So that's big stuff for the uh, U.S. stocks, T bonds, and the U.S. dollar index. And then early tomorrow morning, we also have a new moon in Virgo at perigee. Uh, this is uh, we're in the syzygy month here, Larry. When uh, when the full moon and new moon line up with the apogee perigee cycle, perigee is when the moon is at its closest, and apogee is when it's at its farthest. On this particular cycle, there will be a new moon at perigee, full moon at apogee, and so let's, let's see. And this will be in Virgo, which emphasizes that we're running a special on Virgo is soybeans. So keep an eye on the beans. Okay, let's see alignment to call the lunar syzygy or supermoon due to the moon being at perigee. It's closest point we cause a, a strong pull on the earth and hence we could have high tides, flooding and possible seismic activity. Watch for an important change in trend for financials, grains, precious metals, especially soybeans and stocks. Okay, and then the night uh, over the weekend of the 30th, We'll have Neptune. Oh, this. Oh, no, that's not the one I was thinking of. Uh, you've been talking about the Labor Day weekend, I think, Larry. And I got a big thing happening here. This is huge. Uh, Neptune's going to line up with uh, the U.S. Moon, and that's uh, you're getting U.S. stocks, T bonds, and uh, with an emphasis on the U.S. dollar. The U.S. Moon in the U.S. natal chart, I think, is a strong uh, factor for the dollar. So mm -hmm. watch out for that over the Labor Day weekend, right? Then looking ahead here, we have Jupiter in Sagittarius going to line up with Pluto in Capricorn. Major change in trend for your cocoa, coffee, hogs, stocks, and tea bonds. Uh -huh. And then the ninth, this is a killer aspect, Larry. Uranus is going to line in uh, Taurus, going to line up with Pluto in Capricorn. And you know, Larry, that's uh, Uranus is a planet of disruptions, unexpected events. And Pluto is, uh, among many, many things, it's, uh, Pluto, you know, in the astrology books, they tell you, Pluto takes no prisoners, you know, and it's in Capricorn. That's the mountain goat. That's has to do with, we could have uh, volcanoes, earthquakes, uh, you know, uh, major disruptions, riots, revolts. And on the financial side, you could have bankruptcies. Uh, it's <laughs> what, day, what, day, what, what day is that, Norm? That's on the ninth of the night of the ninth. Of September. Say, okay. Yeah. That'll be a Monday night. Okay. Okay. Or it's a mo Monday night special. Okay. All right. And then I got a couple of dates here that are special just for the stock market. I have my market math date here is August 29th. That's today. Uh, it's on the music scale there, on the Pythagorean the mathematics on the uh, music. And that's 4,340 days from the, you know, this date, Larry, October the 11th. Uh, 2007, right? Like that was the high in that 2007 was, before the big meltdown, you know? Uh, but yeah, I believe it was around the early October, that's for sure, huh? Yeah. Well, I think it's that date. All right, then we got Fibonacci on tomorrow. I my Fibonacci time, I do have a Fibonacci time cycle model, and it's pointing, it has a very high batting average, and it's pointing to the 30th, that's tomorrow, which when when we have the new moon. And then we also have the 5th and the 8th. And then we have uh, astrological analysis. Again, talked about this, sort of alluded to this sort of thing, doing a natal chart at major turning points and then seeing what the planets are doing in relation to those planets. And when I get a big cluster lining up, that's usually a high percentage uh, uh, a point for a change in trend. And guess what? That says the 9th. And that's the one just really close to this point we I just talked about with the Uranus and Pluto thing, you know, right? And then we also have the 11th. Okay, so yep. there we go. I got covered. Every, anybody have any questions about the uh, what's coming up? Or yeah, someone asked a question. If you could explain more about the super full moon that we have coming up tomorrow. Well, if they got, it's not a full moon. It's a new moon. And new moon excuse gonna, me, a new moon. Yeah, sorry. Yes, sir. And it's going to be a perigee. It's going to be a close, so mm -hmm. that'll be a... A big pull on the earth, and that's often brings you, like I said, often brings uh, high mm -hmm. tides and uh, sometimes can trigger seismic activity and and mm -hmm. all that sort of thing. And it's in Virgo, so you watch the beans. And, all, and generally, you're going to have your financials, greens, precious metals, a uh, high percentage of time. You know, these markets turn on the uh, on these moons, right? Okay. And it's probably even more powerful now with the uh, new moon at perigee, you know, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, how can the folks reach you, Norm, if they'd like to learn more? Oh, let's let's get to that right away. <laughs> let's get to commercial. You betcha. Go ahead. All right, there we go. So here we go. Here's my contact information. I got free classes going this week. If you contact me right away, you might get a free class. And if you say Larry sent me, I'll give you a free class with a double your money back guarantee. You know, that's a pretty good deal. Here's my contact information. I got it for anybody new out there who doesn't know me. I got 50 years of experience, started one of the teams, kind of like Larry did, except he's got a, a few years uh, up on me. And uh, then right out of college, I went to the uh, Chicago Board Options Exchange and the market maker. Norm, they're, they're, Norm we they're gotta done. pay a few bills. Stay with us and we'll give, let, give, you, uh, give you a chance for folks to reach you, okay? So why don't okay. you stay with us another few minutes, okay? Thank you. You bet. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking about Norm Winsky. And Norm, uh, can you tell us a little bit more how they can reach you, folks? Yes, sir. Down there at the bottom there is my name. I, I'm in Naples, Florida. Phone 239-594-3939. There's my email. It's kind of long, so you might want to screenshot that. And my Skype, and Winsky underscore digit one. And then you can get the, if you uh, uh, call me right away, I got free classes going this week. And, uh, or if it's not convenient, we'll, we'll schedule it for another time. 
I got the swing trading. I'll, every, I only do futures, swing trading, and day trading. I can teach you both those. I can teach you the day trading system in about 30 to 45 minutes. And it's been very successful. And so swing trading it requires a little more extensive class. That's usually about a five to six hour class. So looking forward to helping some of your folks, Larry. If they, anybody there in the uh, Tiger Den had any questions or anything, I'll be happy to try to answer those. Well, I think we're in pretty good shape, Norma. We're going to be watching this full moon. You remember, this is the anniversary tomorrow. The 31st is when Princess Di died. Uh, remember, she had that terrible accident. It was a big aspect. I remember that time, but it was great. Hey, listen, um, what do you think about the euro here? Is it going to hold up? What's your what's your feeling? Uh, we're getting ready to break into new low ground. Uh, the currencies tend to turn on the new moons and full moons, so I'd be watching yeah. that tomorrow. For a, if it's going down, yeah. I'd be watching for a low there, you know. Uh, let me just add watching. one more comment that, you know, you don't have to be smart to do this. You just do what the planets in the market tell you to do. That's all it is, you know. So that's, that's you know, you, you don't have to be smarter than the fifth grader to do this, I promise you. I can tell you, know, <laughs> you hey, this stuff looks like a foreign language when you first look at it. You get used to it in a day or two, and then you're good to go. All right. Listen, thank you for joining us, and we'll have you on again in a few weeks when we have a full moon coming up, right? That's correct. There'll be a full. Uh, will you be in the, in uh, overseas, or you you be available? I I will be traveling, but I'm not sure. No, I'll be back. Uh, no, I'll be traveling. That that I'll be doing a seminar on the uh, the Harvest Moon, on the 14th. I'll be in the UK. So I'll, what, what uh, day will you be leaving? I'm not even sure. I think the 18th or 19th somewhere. Have a oh. great weekend, Norm. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. You bet.